Hi, welcome back to Norma's Beauty Corner. So I am back to do another video to review another beauty item. So what we're going to be looking at is a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad palette. And this one is called 01 Badass. Yes, you heard that right. Badass. <laughs> yes, I came across this eyeshadow palette through the store. Um, the color story really called to me. And uh, when I looked at the name, of course, I laughed and I said, oh, perfect. It's so cute. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll look at the packaging. Um, I'll give you guys an up-close look at the palette. And then um, I'll do a makeup look, of course. And then give you my final thoughts on the palette itself. Great. So, I came across this palette through the cosmetic store. The cosmetic store is sort of like an outlet to the higher end stores like uh, Macy's and Nordstrom, um, only that they just take makeup in. So um, what I liked about this eyeshadow palette when I first saw it there was um, the silver, silver color theme. Uh, very, very pretty. And um, on the front it'll, it says Tom Ford Extreme. So, which I came to find out stems from his 2019 holiday collection called Extreme, which also consists of a mascara along with a black lid lacquer, which you would put on your lids, uh, which then you would need to put the eyeshadows on. Um, I also found out that um, these eyeshadows are black based, uh, which basically means um, that they're just going to come out a bit darker than um, what the pan is showing. Um, it's just, there's just a dark tone to these eyeshadows. So we will see when we, once we swatch them. Um, um, so this eyeshadow palette um, retails for $88. Um, but if you find a cosmetic store, you'll probably get them for half price or a little over, but definitely um, not at $88. Um, you'll get a good deal on it. Um, also, so um, all of uh, Tom Ford's uh, quads come with um, a little pouch like this, and they're very soft suede, very cute, and um, yeah, look how pretty this is, it's is all silver. I'll, if I turned it over, it'll blind you, so <laughs> I'll just keep it like this, and it says here Tom Ford. Very nice. And this is what the inside looks like. It does come with a mirror, very nice, along with plastic insert and two little brushes. So I'll go ahead and remove the plastic insert and give you an up close look of the eyeshadow palette. So look how pretty these are. These are gorgeous. So we'll see how they swatch. Um, so I'll show you the swatches now. And then I'll go straight into the makeup look. And then at the end, I'll give you my final thoughts. So here I'm using the lighter shade as my transition shade and then just added some Fix Plus to help it pop out. And now I'm using some more of the Fix Plus on the um, burgundy color to really help it out, which indeed it is really pretty. And now I'm using this darker shade on the outer corner and on the crease and I'm just going to pull that through across. Now I'm just blending out the crease so it's nice and smoothed out. Now I'm going to highlight my inner corner with this lighter shade. 
and I'm using the burgundy color on my bottom lid. And this is Armageddon from Black Moon Cosmetics. It's a perfect lipstick for this look. And I'm blending out my outer corners now so everything's nice and smoothed out. And I'm using Brulee from MAC to highlight my eyebrow bone. And I'm using NYX's Epic Ink Liner. And just adding my lashes. Right, so I am back with a completed look. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this eyeshadow palette. Like I mentioned earlier, that these eyeshadows come with a dark base, except for this champagne-y, peachy one, but for these three, it's for the dark base. And just to kind of elaborate a bit further on that, I'm gonna show you something. This is what I used on my lid, and this is what I used on the crease and outer corner. The color I put on my lid, it's, it comes up much darker on the lid than what's on the pan. Same thing with this one. It's just much darker on the eye than on the pan. And on top of that, you can't really differentiate either of the colors because, I mean, not the crease and lid color. They're just both dark. So that's the dark base that I'm referring to. Um, as far as the formula, the formula uh, is a bit different from his other quads. Um, this one felt a bit thicker, grainier, almost kind of chunky-like, and I felt that when I did the swatches. So, but when I was putting them on, they blended out very nicely, didn't have a hard time with it. Um, yeah, it was very nice and then I did use the fix plus to really help these colors pop and um, I really do like how this look came out I like the brassiness kind of rusty looking yeah if you like dark colors and almost kind of gothy I think you will like this palette but if you don't like dark colors yeah I don't think you're gonna like this yeah so those are my thoughts on this palette um, for me i did like it yeah so all right if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing and definitely click the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload new videos and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it until then thank you so much for joining me and i will see you in a different video bye